Welcome to your Tesla. This video will provide a high-level overview of the essentials you need to know to take your first drive. Firmly press the center of the door handle and your door will swing open for you, welcoming you inside. It will close automatically when you press the brake pedal. When you want to get out, press this button with your thumb or use the touchscreen. To open a Falcon wing door, press the handle. Press here to close it from outside or use this switch to open or close it from the inside. Your doors are automatic and intelligent, but you're responsible for ensuring their paths are clear before opening or closing them. Your Tesla is compatible with three different kinds of keys. Phone key, which turns your phone into your Tesla's key, key fobs, and backup key cards, which you should keep with you whenever using phone key. We'll focus on phone key here. Use one of your backup key cards to set up phone key. Make sure that your phone's Bluetooth is on, open the Tesla app, and then follow the prompts. Once set up, as long as your phone is with you, your car will automatically unlock as you approach it. Power on for driving when you press the brake pedal, and lock as you walk away. Tap here or swipe here to reveal your controls menu, which gives you quick access to functions you'll use most. Tap to create your driver profile so you can get comfortable and save your settings. Reach down to the side of your seat to adjust its position and lumbar support. To adjust the steering yoke, Select it on the touchscreen and then use the left scroll wheel. Tap Mirrors and use the same left scroll wheel to adjust each side view mirror. Finally, tap to save these settings to your profile. Many other settings also save to your driver profile, so your Tesla will be just how you like it, even if you're not the only driver. You can link your profile to your phone key or key fob and your car will automatically adjust to you as you approach it. To drive, simply buckle up with your phone key in the car, press the brake pedal, and then go to the touch screen. Swipe down here for reverse and up for drive. Tap here to put it in park yourself. Otherwise, your Tesla will automatically put itself in park once you come to a complete stop and unbuckle. Once your car is in park, you can get out. Your Tesla powers off once you get out and close the doors. If you'd like your Tesla to automatically shift itself out of park, go to controls, pedals and steering, and then enable auto shift out of park. With this setting on, when you press the brake pedal while in park, your Tesla will automatically decide between drive and reverse according to your surroundings. The intended direction shows on the instrument cluster. Confirm that this is the direction you want and just press the accelerator to go. Swipe on the touch screen to select a different direction. Your cabin has a stockless steering column. Activate your turn signals by using these controls on the left side of the yoke. Press firmly to turn on your signal. It will turn off automatically once your Tesla detects that you've completed a maneuver like a turn lane change, or taking an exit. You can also disengage the signal by pressing either turn signal control again. Press here to flash your high beam headlights and reveal light settings on the touchscreen. Press and hold to fully engage or disengage your automatic high beams. If you prefer to dim your high beams manually, tap here to disable auto high beam. Honk your horn by pressing firmly here on the right side of the yoke. Press here to wipe the windshield once and bring up the wiper controls on your instrument cluster. Use the left scroll wheel to select between wiper speeds or set them to auto. Press and hold on the wiper control to spray the windshield. Your Tesla has regenerative braking. As you lift off the accelerator pedal, your car will slow down while recapturing and returning energy to the battery pack. It can take a few miles to get used to it, but it maximizes efficiency and control, ultimately making it easier to drive. As you ease off the accelerator at low speeds, 
Your Tesla will also apply the friction brakes to bring you to a gentle stop and hold you there. This makes stop and go driving possible using the accelerator pedal only. Of course, as with any other car, press the brake pedal when you need to decelerate rapidly. To charge, point the connector at your charge port and press here to open it, or press on the charge port door itself. The port glows white, indicating that your car is ready to charge. Firmly plug in the connector and the port will pulse green once charging begins. To unplug, press and hold the connector button and remove the connector once the port turns white. Your charge port door will close automatically. Even more information is available in your on-screen owner's manual. Open your controls menu and tap Service, Owner's Manual, and then search for any topic.